Firefox. If you're using Adobe Photoshop CC 2020 or our latest version, you should know the undo key works in a different way than it used to work in earlier versions of Adobe Photoshop. As I mentioned in an earlier video, you can press Ctrl Alt C to undo anything. You can press Ctrl Alt C for the undo command in earlier versions of Adobe Photoshop like Adobe Photoshop CC 2018, 2017 or Adobe Photoshop CC or CS6 or 7 and so on. But if you're using Adobe Photoshop CC 2020 or any latest version, you can simply press Ctrl Z for the undo command. But the redo command is same in all versions of Adobe Photoshop, which is Ctrl Shift Z. So remember, Ctrl Shift Z is for redo in all versions of Adobe Photoshop. So take a note of that. Now I will go and create a new file. So I will press Ctrl N on my keyboard, which is for creating new documents. Or you can also go to the file menu. Then select the new command. The shortcut key is Ctrl N if you're using Microsoft Windows or Command N if you are on a Mac. Now I can create a new document. I will simply click OK here. Now to close the new document or any existing file or any other open document in Adobe Photoshop, you can go to the file menu again and choose close. The shortcut for close current document is Ctrl W or you can press Ctrl Q to quit Photoshop. I will use the shortcut key here Ctrl W to close this file because I have another great tip to share with you guys. So I will press Ctrl W to close this file. Now if I want to open an existing image or document in Adobe Photoshop, I can go to the File Open menu. From here, File menu and I can choose Open. The shortcut key for opening any file, image or document in Adobe Photoshop is Ctrl O on your keyboard or Command O if you are on a Mac. But there is another little secret where you can open any document very quickly by double clicking anywhere in the empty space on your screen. You can trigger the open command. As you can see, I will double click anywhere on the gray area here and it will trigger the open command here. So I will go and hit cancel for the time being. The quickest method to open files is to double click anywhere on the empty screen here. But remember you have to disable the new welcome screen which was introduced in the new Photoshop CC versions. So to disable that screen, you can go to edit menu, then go to preferences and hit general. In the preferences, make sure general on the left is selected. Now make sure auto show the home screen is unchecked and use legacy new document interface is checked. That is only if you are on the latest versions of Adobe Photoshop. That's all for the tips of today. Now we will get back to the selection marquee tools. Okay, I have one another thing to discuss with you guys, which is the use of selection marquee tools. So I'm gonna create a new document to demonstrate the power of rectangle and elliptical marquee selection tools. As in the last video, you noticed you can use these selection tools not just for selection but for many other things like applying effect to a selected area or even to crop images. You can also create shapes with these selections. How? Let's see. First, I will start by dragging a rectangle on my screen. Now it's better if we have a new layer for this, else this will go into the background layer. So I will go to the layers panel and click the new layer icon. 
So I have a new layer here. Now I can fill within this selection. To fill ground foreground into the selection, you can simply press Alt Backspace on your keyboard. So I will press Alt Backspace on my keyboard, which fills the selection with the foreground color. The foreground color can be seen here. This is the foreground color and this is the background color. You can switch between these two colors by clicking this switch icon. As you can see both the colors will now switch. You can also click this little icon which will set the colors as default meaning black and white. So if I click this little icon it will make the foreground color black while the background color white. The shortcut for setting default color is D on your keyboard while the shortcut for switching colors is X. These two shortcuts are very very important so please make sure you make a note of them. I repeat for setting default colors which is black and white, black foreground color and white background color. The shortcut is D and for switching colors no matter what color they are you can press X on your keyboard. Ok now let's get back to the rectangular marquee tool. As you can see on your screen I created this rectangular box with the rectangular marquee selection tool. I created a rectangular selection then I created a new layer so it doesn't mess up with the background layer. Now I hit Alt Backspace on my keyboard so it will fill the foreground color within the selection. Now I can press Ctrl D to deselect it to remove the selection. Ok the selection is gone. Now let's try another thing. I will simply delete these two layers but I want to delete these two layer at once. So here's how to do this. You simply select the first layer on the top then press and hold down control on your keyboard and click the second layer in the layers panel. As you can see both layers on the top have this light grey color that means both layers are now selected except the background layer. Now I can simply right click the layer and choose delete layers from the pop up menu or I can go down here and click this recycle bin icon which is for deleting selected layers. So I will click the delete layer icon. Now for the confirmation I will click yes. So both of the layers are now deleted. Now I will go back to the rectangular marquee selection tool by pressing M on my keyboard. Now I will draw a rectangular selection once again. This time I will press shift key on my keyboard to add something into the selection. Confusing right? Let me give you another example. If I create a selection with a rectangular marquee tool, if I try to create another selection, then you see the selection which I created earlier is gone. So how to deal with this thing? You can simply press shift key on your keyboard to add a new selection into the existing selection. Same thing goes with the elliptical marquee tool. If I try to create a new selection without pressing the shift key on my keyboard, the previous selection will be gone. So how to deal with that once again? You can press shift to add something into selection. For example, I created two selection and merge them together. Now if I press Ctrl Z for undo. What about if I want to subtract from selection? You're right. You can press Alt on keyboard if you're using Microsoft Windows or Option. If you're using Mac to subtract from selections. So I created this selection by using two selections. One to create a normal selection then one selection to subtract from it. The same things are on the top on the options bar as you can see. 
if you're trying to create a selection and instead it keeps adding new selections into it and you are not even pressing the shift key that means this option is selected which is add to selection so no need to press the shift key if you have selected this option and if you have selected new selection then you can create a new selection shift adds into the selection while alt minus or subtracts from the selection so here's the third icon which is for subtract from selection it is the same thing just like when you press the alt key on your keyboard now the fourth option is intersect with selection this means you can create a selection from a selection confusing right now I have this selection on my screen now if I press on my keyboard alt and shift all together and hold them down my mouse cursor changes with a small X at the bottom right of it now if I drag and try to create a selection as soon as I let my left mouse button go the selection will come from the previous selection here it goes let me give you another example of this one now I will switch to the rectangle marquee tool from the elliptical marquee tool by pressing shift M on my keyboard now I have rectangular marquee tool I will draw a rectangle while pressing alt shift on my keyboard which is for intersect with selection the same option is here on the fourth icon intersect with selection by pressing alt shift I will try to create a selection here now notice what happens when I let my mouse button up see I created a selection from the previous selection things will come easy as soon as you start using selections or even better you try them on some images so that's it for today's video in next video we'll still look at these selection and see how you can use them to crop some things